Selena. Selena. Not just any Selena, it's Fuse Selena. Specifically Fuse. Because any during season three, any other team that picks up Selena, Brand can shut them down, but not Fuse mm -hmm. for some reason. Because I don't know, maybe Fuse the god of Selena. Yeah. And, not not and this man over here. Not this guy. Not, not this guy. guy. Mm -hmm. Your team but also picking. with Rafaela, oh, of course. So if we have, well, well Anestes, so we yep. will get as, uh, well, Rafaela as well. I really like this. I really like that now we are confirming uh, that this is now the sustained meta. We are in this new phase of mm -hmm. Mobile Legends in 2019. And uh, you guys should not be surprised if you see this in your rankings. I'm not going to lie. I'm a tank spammer. I might just get pick up SS later after the broadcast. Right, yeah. Right. yeah, for sure. The and on top young. of that, a Franco. A Franco. That you're really good at. So I'm, 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 I'm the best. I was told I was the best. But anyway, that's a Franco <laughs> pickup. Um... I don't know. Mm. They haven't locked it in yet, though. They haven't yep. locked it in. I mean, we uh, during the earlier uh, games uh, today, when Franco, Franco was picked up, he wasn't as uh, he wasn't as picking. effective. With Bren Esports, Franco is effective, mm -hmm. but with, that was when Pain was uh, w that yeah. was when Pain was using yeah. Franco, aka mm -hmm. Score Pain. Score Pain. Mm -hmm. Get over here! Get over here! Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's one thing to consider. Uh, but let's look at what Signal Ultra is going to be picking up here. They are hovering over uh, the Hayabusa. That is a Yako special, yep. right? That's the main event when it comes to Yako Mania, mm -hmm. right? The biggest show in esports entertainment, <laughs> <laughs> Yako Mania. So um, they are going to pick that up, uh, but it could also be on view. Mm -hmm. It could also be on view. I mean, with the uh, pickup of Carry and uh, Hayabusa, back to back, yeah. it's, it feels like Signal Ultra is gunning in for... One, a late game, uh, late game centric fight where uh, where Carrie's just gonna go balls to the wall, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And now there's the second part where in Yako, I feel like it's Yako. It's gonna be a locked in on Yako. Yep. Nice. Yako going in for the Hayabusa with which, the execute. With the execute too. So uh -huh. it's gonna be a very deadly Hayabusa that will also go for split push, which is Hayabusa's specialty. Yep. yep. So uh, looking at these two lineups, uh, you uh, very well dissected what Signal Ultra is trying to do. Uh, Tads, what is uh, Bren trying to do with their lineup? Well, again, well, just like what I mentioned earlier, it's all about sustainability. They have the thams. They also have all the toolkits that they need. They just need to play aggressively here. Uh, make sure that they're able to utilize the uh, well, the ultimate from uh, from Estes. Because if you're going to pick Estes, you really want to go uh, to go ahead and group up as early as mm -hmm. you can. Once level four is already active, that should be enough. And with that, with the current lineup from uh, from Signal Ultra, they need to counter. They need to take down and shut down Yahoo as soon as possible. Yeah. Even the carry. Real quick before we go into the land of dawn predictions. Signal Ultra, 1-0. Nomad, Signal Ultra. I'll go with Bren this one. Tads, Bren is 50-50 for our panelists. I'm not even going to bother split it down. Split it down. Middle. Split Fine. it down. Bren Esports. There you go. Oh, black and yellow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a best of three between Bren Esports and Signal Ultra. This is the El Clasico in Mobile Legends Bang Bang in the Philippines. Let's get right into it. And side of the, uh, well, rather in the blue side, we have Bren Esports here, Coco playing the Claude, Hayes on the Estes, Yuji playing the Lilia, Thang on the Thames, and Doc Ribo playing the... Franco. Oh, Franco, there we go. <laughs> right. uh, I'm, just, I'm just waiting for him to, uh, to speak up because right, that is favorite. Yes. I know, but going over to the side of Signal Ultra, we got Few on that carry, D on that Grok, Tet on that Rafaela, Yako on that Hayabusa, and Daisenia on that Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. That is also your favorite. Yep, that's true. Whoa, whoa, yeah, just matching it up, right? Whoa, baby. Gentlemen, check it out. <laughs> uh, I just have to note here, Brennan Sports Hero uh, Pool is so deep right now. That's mm. Hayes on the uh, Estes. It's Doc Ribo, PhD, MD, on the Franco. He started to pick up tanks now. Mm. And we have a new uh, member in Tang, yep. right? EJ going back into the sixth man slash strategist position and letting Tang play. Uh, arguably, maybe the youngest member of Brain Sports. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm excited to see how his time is going to perform here. Yeah, well, as long as he can at least control the lane. But uh, looking at the current situation here, Thames is also joining the fight. They really want to control this middle lane, the side of Signal Ultra. And also Signal Ultra Channel responding with a three-man response as well. So I guess uh, it's... Uh, it's just about, uh, it's just both teams really giving a lot of space for their core heroes. As you can see, even uh, Coco right now just hit its level 4. And with that, it will be easy transition. They can easily rotate into the turtle. And, uh, well, they have the upper hand. They're on the lower uh, lower side of the lane, and they can get that uh, well, positional advantage. Another point I want to 
put out there is that Brent Esports and Signal Ultra have been playing against each other for a, the longest time now. Mm -hmm. They know exactly how their rotations are. We are three minutes into the game. We haven't seen a decisive uh, clash just yet compared to the previous series that we've had where a minute into the game, immediately we're, we'll be seeing a lot of clashes. Now, we're seeing Signal Ultra and Brent Esports just waiting each other out, just testing the water zone speaking. Well, as, oh. as I'm saying that, that was al almost uh, a clash there, but Brent Esports decided to back off because they don't want to uh, mess with Signal Ultra just yet. Mm -hmm. Three and minutes in, we still have not seen a kill. Yep, no kills These at all. These two teams are just so disciplined, and they are going to play footsies upon Turtle 1. Yeah. And, and Rainbow's hooks have been connecting too, so that's something. But not a lot of follow-ups. We might see uh, an engagement here. And a little bit of contest. Almost 50% HP left for the Turtle. And as you can see, they're quite ready for them oh. to take. And nice takedown for Yuji. Oh. And he'll be punished. The Rock will fall down. And Ren getting that upper hand advantage against Signal Ultra plus the Turtle buff in the hands of uh, Brand Esports. Here's what's crazy. Doc Ribo hit that hook just point blank and he still has not committed the bloody hunt. Mm -hmm. So any other team fight that occurs here could still go Brand's way. Yeah, that's true. And it, well, it's all about the rotations. You can see even Brand now cutting up the waves, making sure that they're able to take down this tier one turret in the bottom lane, disabling the farm of Yako and at least giving them a little bit of space, making sure that uh, this bottom lane cannot be easily contested by uh, by Signal Ultra. At least uh, find a way for them to at least equalize the, uh, the creep equilibrium here or the minion equilibrium to the bottom lane. Ooh. We have Rebo's coming in from the back lines, actually. Well, not Rebo, but the rest of his team because Rebo is oh. going to be farming over to the bottom side. He's going to fall down by the hands of Yuji, so that's going to be another farm. Another kill and an assist going into uh, Yuji there. That's going to significantly buff him up. The HP of Brenny Sports is really low here. If anything, Signal Ultra can still fight back. But we do see Rebo going in. Does have the flanker in and oh, goes oh, for the bloody him. hunt. It's going to secure Tess, and that's going to be Tess going down. That turn's going to go down as well. It's few is almost going to go down. Doc Rebo and the rest of the gang are going to try away. to stop it up in. And Man, he is also the away. One. nice power of nature into wild charge of damage. Not enough, though, but enough for Desanya to run away, and he will be punished right there. But at least they're able to save both of their cores in exchange for this life. Okay, so level six, though. Here's what's crazy that whole fight was started by Signal Ultra, mm. was kited by UG and Co. They took a kill, picked him off. They started another big fight as Doc Rebo rotated from 12 to 6. Oh, I'm sorry, 6 to 12, and still made it in time. Yeah. That's why we're sitting at 4 0. Brandy Sports having a 5,000 gold lead, three towers to none. Signal Ultra, I think this is where they're comfortable, though. They are known as a comeback case. Yep. During, I'm sorry, during Season 3, uh, Brandy Sports has been known to be the team that has to rotate as a five-man unit. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a complete different change here yeah. during Season 4 where they're rotating as a three-man, two-man unit and making it work. Even Signal Ultra is having a hard time keeping up with their rotations. This is impressive, and I think off of the back of that fight that lasted maybe a minute or two up top, we have to give kudos to our man, Hayes, mm -hmm. right? He made the UG last much, much longer in combination with the heels on Estes and Black Shoes. Yuji can stay for days. Yep, and we're talking about Yuji. They just killed the turtle, and Yuji will be the one again who will take the turtle buff. Nice bloody hunt here. Nice control from Brand Esports, and they will take another one, shutting down Desanya and taking, possibly taking another turret here into the bottom lane. And with that, if they really need to protect this bottom lane here, Signal Ultra cannot afford to lose at least one more lane because, again, they're going for a two-core lineup. They need to find some space, or the cores of Signal Ultra, they need to find some space for them to farm freely. But that, well, looking at the current net worth here, 19,000, almost 20,000 net worth lead, 7K for uh, lead, rather, for Brand Esports. And with that, another tower takedown. Map control for Bren Esports is really way too high right now. And it feels like Bren Esports completely red signal ultra here because that is almost going to... That, that almost uh, wiped them out completely there, but good thing D is still tanky. Uh, mm -hmm. Going back to the point, it seems as though as Bren Esports is completely red signal ultra's game style here because there, has, there was a point in time where these Grok has been feared in the competitive scene right now. Brent Esports doesn't even give a damn anymore. Nope, don't care. Will not even flinch. Ladies and gentlemen, I really like what Brent Esports has done here. They have just dominated the map, and not even just through team fights, mm -hmm. but through towers and objectives. Yeah. What's going on here? I don't know what, what Signal Ultra is on, but again, I've seen crazier things happen, and I've seen them come back from worse. I'm not writing them out just yet. Because I guess, uh, well, 
looking at their draft right here, Yaku and also the carry, they, they really need to get those farms. They need a lot of time. Yeah, they, they need a lot of time for, it to be, for them to be online. Rafael is not enough for them to sustain this amount of damage that Brand Esports can dish out. As you can see, even Coco getting two core items right now, seven minutes in, a dem, uh, Demon Hunter Sword plus a Golden Staff, and he might go for another uh, endless battle here, maybe not, but uh, also with Yuji, a, demon, uh, uh, well, a nice Queen one and also a Demon one right there, oh, that getting was... that a lot of damage. Oh, even the Black Shoes will be committed here. That was a good wall up by D, completely blocking out the uh, minions from pushing in mid lane. Uh, giving Signal Ultra a lot of time, but while that's happening over the bottom lane though, Coco, he is farming really... Mm -hmm. Signal, I mean, look at how Signal Ultra is playing this game. They're rotating as four guys, but they're not able to secure any foothold outside of their base. They're mm -hmm. only uh, zoned in their base. Not even a scratch for all tier 1 turrets of yeah. Bren Esports. And this happened not in a single snap. Bren worked towards this, mm -hmm. right? Bren slowly and very in a very disciplined manner uh, used this uh, to their advantage slowly over the 8 minutes of this game. So now they're going to turn that into a Lord. Not as quick as Archangel's take earlier, but this is quite free. Yep, it will be an uncontested Lord here and Signal Ultra again. The back of their seats, they really need to defend this next skirmish that will be sent by Brent Esports, and as you can see, Disanya really struggling a little bit here, trying to get every kind of resource or every kind of gold that he can get for for, well, for the next skirmishes. 10 k net received now for Brent Esports, oh. and Brent Esports they're just waiting for the Lord to march into the middle lane, and that will be the, the goal signal for Brent Esports to go in or maybe try to go into a different lane, wait for Signal Ultra to take for them to take down the Lord. All right, here's what's crazy. Huh? Listen to this. I wish oh, the blazing to went the whole oh! thought because Yaku's gonna be able to get a double kill there. Just as I was going on a thought, Coco just decides to come in, take a double kill, and lead Bren into going into Signal Ultra. Space. And that is gonna go down as well. It's just gonna be a D alive as well as the Sanya. They don't have enough firepower. The Sanya is not Nine deadly minutes. enough. Nine minutes into the game, that's the fastest game that we've had today. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has an appointment to make. <laughs> they are calling this in. Nine minutes, twenty-two seconds in. Brainy sport.